Welcome back everyone. In this video, we'll learn how to add legends in our chart. So back in our code. You can see that we're returning a div, uh, which we're referencing using the use ref hook. And uh, inside of this, we're rendering our chart. Inside of this, I'm going to add a new div. And uh, I'm just going to write lightweight and uh, if we look closely on the top we can see that it's it has already appeared without even doing anything else but we don't really want it at this place we want it somewhere inside our chart so Let's add some style to it. Style. Let's add the position of absolute. Should be 20. Left should be 100. And it should have a Z index of 20. And the color should be white. And also, let's give the parent position relative. Since we're using position absolute on the children, so let's position it relative to the parent diff. All right. So we have our legend, but this is not exactly useful. See, um, would like to see the price or the time value as the legend so let's see how we can do that so i would like to get the price inside of this this div and by price i mean the value that we have on the y-axis so back in our code right after we've created our series Let's write chart dot, and we have a method called subscribe crosshair move. Let's console log the parameter that it takes. Okay. So we can see that as we move our mouse, we get the data related to our series. So this is what this subscribe crosshair move uh, method is doing. So if you if we hover our mouse over any data, then we get the time and all the value related to the series. But if our crosshair is not on any series, then we get time is undefined. Okay. So let's add a undefined check so if the param dot time does i mean if it exists so then um, we will get the data related to the candlestick series so const data is equals to param dot series data dot get and uh, we have to tell it which series data we want i want the data from the candlestick series so let's console log this data so now when we don't have any series we don't get any console logs see but if we do have a series on our crosshair then we get the series data see open high low close and the time okay so we want the open high low close i mean the ohlc data on our legends so this value is inside of our use effect see this use effect and uh, we want it outside we want it inside this div outside of this use effect so how can we do that 
in order to do that we need a state so i'm going to call it candle price set with state so initially it will be null and uh, i'm going to set candle price and i'm going to set the data inside our return now we can just uh, add a new div and put the lightweight charts text inside the div and in another div we can just get the ohlc data so open it's going to be candle price dot open And then we have high, then we have low, then we have close. So, okay. close. Right. So because our candle price is null initially, we need to add optional chaining. So our legend is working. We have successfully got the price, the open, high, low, close data on the legends. All right. So uh, this is this is kind of hard to see. So I would like all of them in one single row, and uh, I would want more space in between them. So I'm just going to add some styling to them. Let's say style margin right margin right is going to be say 10 pixels and the display should be so here we have it if we want to we can also get the value of the second series on the legends as well so right below the ohlc data and uh, let's get a new state we're going to call it line price set line price this is also going to be null initially and uh, inside of subscribe crosshair move We're going to get our line data. We're going to call this well line price. All right. Line price data. So param dot series data dot get. And this time the series is line series. So this one. Line series and set it to the line line set line price price data inside of our div that we created a few moments ago I'm going to say line price dot value and this is also Null initially, so I'm going to add the optional thing. Okay, so we also have our second series data on the legends. If you want to, you can beautifully format them or style them using CSS, but CSS is not the main focus of this course. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.